Hey everybody, Mark here. Going to talk about our chassis for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, soapbox car for the Atlanta 2015 Red Bull Soapbox Race. So we'll walk around and talk a little bit about it um, to give you guys an idea. Uh, the wheel, the wheel width is about 40, 42 inches um, from left to right, front to back. We're right at 60 inches. The entire car is 72 inches long by. 44 inches wide um, but let's first start talking about the wheels the fronts are 13 inch they're just the harbor freight special um, these are you know ran pretty well we're actually going to switch out the uh the lube inside of it for a dry graphite um, but they're pretty wide they're about three inches wide we do have two people in the car um, so that did worry us uh, with weight as well as we saw a lot of wheels that cut uh, that broke when going around sharp turns so that's the front wheels. The back ones are 15 and a half inch uh, by Universal. These are a nylon base wheel. The fronts are rubber. Uh, nylon uh, wears quicker. We did have nylons on the front, um, but they did wear out a lot quicker for turning. Um, so we switched to the rubber in the front. Um, but these are just wheelbarrow wheels. If you want to see also, you'll see a little bit of bracket right there. Um, you can see that um, on the end of the shaft, the three quarter inch shaft is a locking collar that locks with a a, a screw. Um, we use these around a lot of the chassis, but you can see we did on the inside and outside. Um, you might be able to see inside. We have about a four inch um, extension. One of the engineers came up with this idea um, to have a, a spring in the back. Um, this is a three quarter inch um, shaft, uh, cold rolled steel. So we felt that having a little bit of a spring uh, would be an advantage. Um, so we don't uh, so when we go over the jumps, we'll have a little bit of flexure in the shaft and not in the body. Um, so that is the wheels. Um, the chassis is made out of 1 inch, 14 gauge square tubing. We had the option to go with 11, uh, 14 or 16. We went with 14 uh, because we felt that uh, 16 was too thin and 11 was just too thick. Um, there were some other options. You could go for an inch and a half inch square tubing. Um, that's not bad either. You can probably reduce it down to a 16 gauge. Um, but that is the chassis. Um, talk a little bit while we're on the wheels. We'll talk about the brakes. Um, the brakes are made by a four inch, uh, by quarter, uh, square tube that's been cut down. Um, you can see how tall the brake is. Um, the reason the brake is so tall is because we wanted to go over the wheel. Um, but no way for it actually to bite down on the wheel. Um, in a scrub style brake design, um, you actually want it to go backwards. It kind of seems counterintuitive, but while you're braking, um, the brake will actually pull down tighter um, while you pull on the brake arm. Um, the brake arm is made out of the same, um, same material, the one inch square tubing. Um, another, another unique idea, um, we did put some bolts in the back of it and welded two plates on either side so we had more surface area to weld to against the three quarter inch um, rod. Um, but we can remove that brake arm whenever we want. So that is the brake. We'll kind of roll around uh, to the front. Let's get into the steering up here. Um, so the steering is unique. Uh, it's actually different than some other steering that you might have seen. Andrew's going to jump in and kind of do a little bit of a turn. Um, but you can see that there's a pitman arm. That is right, see right here, that's a pitman arm. Pitman arm is about two inches long. That goes to the main arm that are about five inches long. Um, so that gives us a ratio, um, a two to one ratio. So while he turns the steering wheel, turns it to the far right, we're about 45 degrees and he turns it the other way. Um, we're at another 45 degrees. So a 90 degree turn, but we only get about 22 degree turn out of the wheels. Um, Looking at, all the, looking at all the racing, um, we didn't need a long throw. A lot of people turn too much, and you'll see when they turn hard to the right, or any direction, um, the wheel will actually buckle underneath. The, actually, the opposite wheel will buckle. Um, but this is a cool, cool idea because now we actually can adjust the bottom tie rod. And when we adjust the bottom tie rod, we can actually tow in or tow out with pretty pretty good ease, as well as we can adjust this top one because we have a left and right-handed thread on it. Um, so that's the design. We have um, the steering wheel was was cut out of a three-quarter inch uh, plate. YOLO, you only lay up once because we did do a, compo a composite uh, chassis or composite shell. 
Um, but if you go down, um, one thing that we did learn was give yourself enough tolerances um, where you have mating surfaces for the steering wheels. Uh, these are 0.8125 and the shaft is still the three quarter inch cold rolled steel. Um, don't have a tight tolerance. When you have a tight tolerance, um, we were unable to really have a good turning. And while the chassis is moving and, and kind of flexing when you're driving down the hill, um, we found out it, it was giving us some issues. Um, the seats are just standard school seats. They were put in a slight angle um, to make it kind of more ergonomic while you're sitting down, as well as while you have the seats lifted, we can also store some weights uh, underneath on either side to balance out the driver and, and, and passenger. Um, another thing is you guys might notice where the seats are not uh, symmetric. Uh, one is a little bit farther back than, than the other one. Um, because of the shoulder width and we have the car as narrow as we could with two people, um, it was it was easier to offset them. Um, and the driver has a full extension of his legs against the bottom uh, foot, uh, foot pad, as well as the passenger has to bend his knees a little bit. Um, but that is the basic chassis. I guess we'll have two guys sit inside of it real quick and kind of show them what, what we can do. So we have... Uh, Rory and Andrew, but you kind of can see that that Rory has his legs all the way fully extended. Uh, the steering wheel could come back a little bit, um, and and Andrew has his legs slightly bent. I'll come up and around, but Andrew has his legs slightly bent um, and is able to put his feet down. Uh, so when we go over jumps, it was preferred to actually have some place to put your feet, um, as well as this foot this foot pad blocks out uh, for the front steering. And that's it. So guys, wave. And say, uh, one day till the race, right? One day till the, the race, man. Remember to keep well lubricated and cow upon them.